In Azure Data Factory, the preserve hierarchy option in the copy activity is used to maintain the original folder structure of your source data when copying data to a destination. And this is really useful when you need to replicate the exact directory structure from the source data to the target application. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to copy CSV files from Google Cloud Storage account to Azure Data Lake Storage and so using the preserve hierarchy copy behavior. So let's get started. I'm going to come to the console.cloud.google.com and I've got this cornerstone analytics storage bucket that contain some transactional data. I've got sales 2015, 16 to 2025. So I want to copy all of these files without margin or appending them. So I want to make sure that they are preserved in their respective CSV files. So I'm going to come to this ADLS Gentle, which is going to be the targeted destination. So I'm going to actually sync the data in this folder, which is called GCS Sales Data. And we're going to use the Azure Data Factory to facilitate that and use the preserve hierarchy. So I'm going to click on this Launch Studio. Okay, so this is my ADF Cornerstone Analytics Azure Data Factory environment. I'm going to click on this part. I can see the home, the author, monitor, manage, and the learning center. Now, usually I love to create the link services to the source and the destination. And then I'm going to create a data set for the source and the destination. And then I'm going to use a copy data activity pipeline. So let's start off with the link services. I'm going to click on the manage. And then I can see under the connections, I've got a link service. So I'm going to click on the plus. And I'm going to choose the data store. Now, this is going to be the Google Cloud Storage account. So I'm going to just give this a meaningful name. I'm going to call this on Google Cloud Storage Linked Service. And then I'm going to stick with this connect via the integration router, which works perfectly with cloud data movement. And I'm going to provide the access key ID and the secret access key. Now, to get the access key, I'm going to come to the console.cloud.google.com and I'm going to go to the settings. And in the settings, I'm going to click on the interoperability tab and I'm going to scroll down at the bottom. We're going to see the access key. So double click, control C to copy, come back to the Azure Data Factory and I'm going to control V to paste. So I'm going to produce also the secret access key. Now, usually in a production environment, we highly recommend studying your secret access key inside Azure Key Vault rather than use this copy paste or type manually here, which is the best practice. But for this, I'm going to stick with this copy paste. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to copy the secrets and then come back to the ADF and I'm going to control V to paste. So I'm going to see the service URL, which is the HTTPS storage.googleapis.com. So I'm going to click on test connection. All things being equal, it's going to give us a successful connection to the GCS platform. We have the connection established. I'm going to click on create. So we want to create the connection to the destination, which is the Azure Data Lake Storage to this specific one. So I'm going to come here, click on the new, and then I'm going to set for Azure Data Lake Storage and Tool, and I want to provide the name for the link service. So I'm going to use the Azure Data Lake Storage and Tool linked service. And then I'm going to stick with the same connect via the integration runtime. So I'm going to stick with this account key, which is much straightforward. Of course, we have other options. You can use the shared access signature URL. You can use the service principle. You can use the system assigned managed identity, SAMI. You can even use the user assigned managed identity, UAMR. So I'm going to go with this default account key and I'm going to provide the Azure subscription. And I'm going to choose the storage account name, which is the ADLS Gen 2 cornerstone. And then I'm going to click on test connection. Of course, it's going to give us a straight connection to the ADLS Gen 2. So we've sorted the linked services to the source and the destination. So we want to go ahead and create the data set for the link and the data set for the source and the destination. So I'm going to click on the auto tab and then I'm going to click on the data set ellipses. And then I want to create a new data set. I'm going to set for Google Cloud Storage Account. Now, don't forget our data are comma separated values csv files so we're going to use the delimited text to match with this format so i'm going to come back here and use the delimited text click continue and i'm going to just modify this because some delimited text source and i'm going to choose the gcs linked service we've created 
and I'm going to browse through the file path. Click on this browse, and then I'm going to see the cornerstone analytics storage container or bucket, and it's going to contain all the CSV files: sales 2015, 16, 17 to sales 2024. CSV files, so or 2025. Cool. So click OK. So the data contain first row as either so this is checked automatically, which is fine. And I'm going to stick with this default import schema from connection store and then click OK. We want to go ahead and create the data set to the destination, the ADLS Gen 2. So again, click on the ellipses, new data set, and I'm going to set for Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 and click on continue. And we want to use the delimited text as the format. And I'm going to continue delimited text sync. And I'm going to choose the link service we've created. And I'm going to land this inside this GCS sales data container. So I'm going to click here and then browse through. And I want to choose the GCS sales data root folder and then just click OK. Now I'm going to just use this first row container headers. I can even uncheck it, doesn't matter. OK. So let me just leave it as it is and then click OK. To create the pipeline, I'm going to click on this ellipses and then create a new pipeline. And I'm going to search for the copy data and move into the canvas. Let me just collapse this. And I can even collapse this. And I can give this a meaningful name. I'm going to call this one data integration from GCS to ADLS Gen 2. And once I'm done, I can click on these properties to close the panel. So I can give this a meaningful name, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to come to the source. Now for the source, I'm going to pick the delimited text source we've created. And then I'm going to go to the sync. When I go to the sync, I'm going to choose the sync data set and it's going to be delimited text sync. Now, this is where we're going to specify the copy behavior. Now, we can see this option and when you click on, they're going to see specify behavior when copying files between file system. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to use the preserve hierarchy so i want to make sure that everything is preserved as it is from the source so that's the reason why i'm using the preserve hierarchy now i'm going to click on validate i'm going to have this challenge file path of data set delimited text source is a folder the wildcard file name is required for copy data one so let's fix this quickly i'm going to come to the source and then we have this file path type which is pointing to the default file path in data sets. But I'm going to choose the wildcard file path and this is fixed automatically. So I can close this panel for now. But the focus of this video is to specify the preserve hierarchy. So I can click on validate and this is fine. I'm going to click on debug and this is going to start the data integration from the GCS bucket to the Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. So let's just wait. And as this is rolling, we can see the information such as the pipeline run ID. We can see the activity name. We can see the activity status. We can see the type and the runtime starts and the duration thus far. So I'm just going to wait. I can even click on this to OK. That, there we go. So this succeeded. Brilliant. Now I'm going to click on this out view to check this out. So I can see I've got this data read. 29,695 and data rating and then we have 10 files read so let's quickly come here and check it out i'm going to click on this refresh when i click on the refresh there we go so we have the sales 2015 16 to 2025 except the 2024 that is missing from the source so in the source i don't have the 2024 just 2023 to 2025 and that's exactly what we have here and let's just check one of them out and see the preview so I'm going to click on the edit and I'm going to click on preview at the bottom and we can see the content. So this is how we can use the Azure Data Factory to orchestrate data movement from the GCS to Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2, preserving the hierarchy of our data. I trust you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, comment, share and follow me for more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.